Hey, Oscar Carmona from Healing Ground, certified organic nursery located in beautiful Goleta, California, here to talk to you today about making your own compost tea brewer. Uh, how to make your own brewer is definitely the biggest question we get, um, and so we'd like to answer that for you now so that you know. Um, it can be as simple as a five gallon bucket with water, which I've let sit out for about 12 hours uh, to let the chlorine dissipate. You know, chlorine, uh, its purpose is to kill off microorganisms, doesn't distinguish good or bad. Uh, you want to create the best environment to, to uh, propagate uh, beneficial microorganisms, so letting that uh, dissipate is a good thing. Um, I've, I have a sock here, an old athletic sock, uh, stocking, nylon, anything, a burlap sack that's openly woven to allow microbes to go in and out or infuse into the watery environment, that's a good thing. Um, I have it suspended because I want to create oxygen opportunities all around the uh, sock itself for microorganisms to get the maximum oxygen potential. Uh, you want to avoid uh, anaerobic conditions because that doesn't uh, can potentially breed bad things. And that's the biggest concern that you need to have with regard to this process. If you want to kick that up a notch, you can uh, do the same thing, five gallon bucket with water, uh, chlorine dissipated. But I'm adding um, air, oxygen, in the form uh, with uh, two aquarium pumps, and I'm using two um, aquarium uh, heaters. And the, about 78 degrees is a good temperature. Rain, uh, temperature upper seven, uh, upper 70s, uh, 76, 79. That creates the greatest opportunity for the most um, communities, diverse uh, diversity of, of microbial communities to actively um, grow in your in your watery uh, medium. So uh, I think the thing that you want to look for is evidence of activity uh, or hyperactivity by way of these bubbles, this bubbling action. And um, you start to see that and you know that it's a good sign. And so at that point, um, I think it's, it's uh, okay to go ahead and disconnect all of this, add that to um, a bucket of water. Uh, you can also add some fish and kelp, put that on your garden and infuse your uh, garden environment both on the plants and into the soil with just uh, by the vitality that it needs to be truly nutritious for you. As I always say, uh, remember, feed the soil and let the plants feed you. Oscar Carmona for Healing Ground Certified Organic 